Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. He taught us, Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that this wealth, my dear brothers and sisters, is not ours. It belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said he bought it from us in exchange for Jannah, in exchange for Jannah. And that is why we will be answerable regarding the time that we've spent and the wealth that we've spent when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of Qiyamah. If this time and this wealth was yours and mine, why should we be answerable about this time and wealth when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of Qiyamah? Why? It's ours. But no, my dear brothers and sisters, it belongs to Allah and Allah in his divine wisdom and mercy, he lent it to us in different proportions. Thus, he gave some people and lent them more time. So they lived longer and others, he gave them less time. So they didn't live as long. And with others, he lent them more wealth. So they were richer and others, he didn't lend them that much wealth. So they were slightly poorer. Allah distributed his wealth. And these blessings amongst us as an amana. Now, I ask you, my dear brothers and sisters, whenever in this world we spend and we do not see an immediate return before the grave, we consider it what? A sacrifice, right? That's what we do. If somebody does charitable work, we say, thank you very much for your sacrifice. That's what we say, right? He gave his time. He wasn't paid for his time. That's a sacrifice. He gave his wealth and he didn't get anything in return before the grave. That is a sacrifice. But by Allah, I ask you, can you sacrifice something you don't own? Can you? If I gave you 10,000 ringgits and I said, so and so, I will call you next week and tell you where to transfer this money to. When I do so and you carry out the transfer, can I or can you tell the person who you transferred the money to, I've sent you some money, I've sacrificed it. Can you do that? You can't. It wasn't your money. You did no sacrifice whatsoever. You cannot sacrifice what you don't own, my dear brothers and sisters. If you understand that Allah has bought your time and he's bought your wealth in exchange for paradise and he is the owner of this time and he is the owner of this wealth, we are not sacrificing anything, my dear brothers and sisters. We don't own it. But Allah is most merciful. He is perfect from ever and he's perfect forever. He doesn't need you to spend in his path for him to be greater. And if you don't, it won't remove from his majesty. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you do spend the way he has instructed you to do and from your time and your wealth, what happens? Allah rewards you. And what do you call this situation? When you spend something and you get something greater in return, what is that called? Investment. Investment. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.